Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, East Hampton Airport wins a flight restriction ruling in court, training requirements for the Mitsubishi MU2 updated, FAI World Air Games measure their success. I'm Brie Cross, it's November 9th, 2016, and this is Airborne Limited. New York's East Hampton Airport gets a reprieve from the town's adoption of noise and access restrictions at the airport when a U.S. Court of Appeals ruled that the Federal Airport Noise and Capacity Act of 1990 continues to apply. In other words, the Federal Act trumps the town's restrictions. The ruling, which sets an important precedent for airports nationwide, holds that Airport Noise and Capacity Act continues to apply to the airport despite the town's stated intent to no longer accept Federal Airport Improvement Program grants. MBAA President and CEO Ed Bolin said, quote, MBAA has long advocated against unlawful and unreasonable restrictions being imposed at East Hampton Airport. We are gratified that the Second Circuit agrees that East Hampton remains bound by ANCA and related FAA policy and regulations. The Noise and Capacity Act requires airports to engage in a detailed study and obtain FAA approval for noise-based access restrictions before they can be implemented. MBAA advises operators to continue complying with the existing curfews at the airport until the court enters a preliminary injunction officially enjoining the curfews. Because of the unique flying characteristics of the Mitsubishi MU2 twin turboprop corporate airplane, the FAA published a special regulation known as SFAR 108 in 2008 to address MU2B special pilot training, experience, and operating requirements. Now the FAA has just introduced a new regulation, which is FAR Part 91 subpart N, that replaces SFAR 108. The purpose of this action is to remove the details of the training program from the regulations. Instead, the training program will be incorporated into a new advisory circular, AC 9189, which will be referenced in the new FAR 91 subpart N. Pat Cannon, who represents Mitsubishi Heavy Industries America in the management of the Part 91 subpart N program, said, quote, This will benefit the MU2 community since modifications to the training program will be more easily corrected with advisory circular updates in the future. After the break, FAI World Air Games make a positive impact. Redbird is quickly becoming the industry standard for flight training. Since Redbird introduced its revolutionary FMX in 2007, colleges, universities, and flight training operations around the world have integrated Redbird products into their curriculum. It's time to discover what Redbird can do for you. Join the migration. Based on the popular Sling 2 LSA, the Sling 4 was designed to be the most practical and desirable lightweight four-place experimental aircraft on the market. Find out more about this 115 horsepower turbocharged airplane at airplanefactory.com. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Build and fly with the most exciting line of kit aircraft on the market, the Sonics Aircraft B models. The B models offer more room and comfort, more fuel, more panel space, more engine choices, and the same great Sonics Aircraft flight characteristics. Learn more at sonicsaircraft.com. Welcome back. If you would like to be a supporter of Airborne Unlimited, send an email to jim at aero-news.net. Any large air event can have a positive impact. For one thing, it introduces non-flyers to aviation. And of course, the local areas where the event takes place is bound to have some economic benefit from an activity that draws a crowd. Now the Federation Aeronautique Internationale, known as the FAI, has actually quantified the positive impact of their World Air Games. The impact study came from a global sport impact project performed by SportCal. The FAI World Air Games Dubai 2015 delivered a global impact across over 200 nations in what was the fifth largest world championships of aviation events, ranging from aerobatic competition to glider flying to skydiving to balloon flying and several other areas of aviation sport competition. Mike Laughlin, the CEO of SportCal, commented, quote, The FAI World Air Games 2015 created an event that mixed elite competition with entertainment, which showcased Dubai in a unique way that we have never seen before. 
With some 3,000 Aero TV programs webcast to cyberspace, sometimes it can be fun to look back and enjoy some of the places we've seen, the flyers we've met, and the planes we've flown. Here's a look at one of our favorite Aero TV classic episodes. Fantastic flying airplane. It really is designed to be in that spot between what you might think of as a 172 or 182. Get a lot more practicality than you get out of the 172, but yet ease of handling and those operating costs that especially those in the light sports segment can really appreciate. Tegnam has been well known for producing light sport aircraft, but are you aware they also produced the first high wing four place airplane to be certified since the Cessna Cardinal? Let's take a look at Tegnam's P2010. Search No Pie in the Sky on Aero TV's news channel. After these messages, Lance Air is up for sale, but buyers will be vetted. Concorde's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concorde's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concorde, the heart of your aircraft. The Bristel Light Sport Aircraft is what you are looking for. The Bristel is wider than a Cirrus, faster than a Skyhawk, offers more storage than a Husky, and comes standard with Garmin Avionics. So what are you waiting for? Visit Bristel.com to find out how you can get into a Bristel today. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, Safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Explore no limits flying in the FAA certified Sea Ray Amphibious LSA. One of the top three best selling LSAs in the U.S., Progressive Aerodyne Sea Ray comes equipped with a Rotax engine and exhibits extraordinary handling on land, water, and in the air. Check it out at www.searay.com. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. If you've ever wanted to own your own airplane company, this could be a once in a lifetime opportunity. Lance Air is for sale. The entire company is being offered for $695,000 for nearly everything. However, they're being choosy about who will buy the company. Flight Safety International announces that its upcoming Gulfstream G500 training program will include the first business jet simulator equipped with a crew view collimated glass mirror display. It is now being used by Gulfstream for the G500 certification program. Airbus Group SD has announced it is eliminating 582 jobs from Airbus helicopters. They are citing a downturn in the oil and gas industry and other factors. The cuts will come from the main Airbus helicopters facility located on the outskirts of Paris. The first of 100 new Piper aircraft trainers have been delivered to the University of North Dakota, John D. Odegaard School of Aerospace Sciences. This delivery is part of an order for 80 Archer TXs and 20 Piper Seminoles in April of this year. The LM100J Super Hercules commercial freighter is moving through pivotal production milestones. Most recently, this involved completing body mate and wing installation at the Lockheed Martin facility in Marietta, Georgia. The LM100J is the commercial version of the C-130J Super Hercules military aircraft. Well, that's the trip around the patch. Now let's move on to the rest of the news. Sikorsky has announced the donation of its groundbreaking X-2 technology demonstrator to the Smithsonian's National Air and Space Museum at the Stephen F. Udavarhase Center. The X-2 technology demonstrator is an experimental aircraft developed by Sikorsky to prove that a helicopter can double the speed of conventional rotorcraft designs without compromising essential low-speed attributes that make the helicopters valuable. The aircraft features a rigid coaxial main rotors and pusher propeller which enables high speed flight. The program began in 2005 and achieved first flight in 2008. On September 15, 2010, the demonstrator unofficially broke the rotorcraft speed record by flying in excess of 250 knots or about 290 miles per hour. The X-2 technology demonstrator has been awarded many prestigious accolades over the relatively short development lifespan. Its existence proves that a one-of-a-kind X-plane prototype is an effective way to test a concept. Well, that's our program for today. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is streamed daily Monday through Friday with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. 
If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe and don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Get comprehensive real-time 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. We'll see you tomorrow.